I'm very happy to see uh, uh, Minister Mogherini. She is, uh, uh, I think, uh, one of the people who are, uh, Israel is working with to try to restore security and calm. Uh, and I hope also, uh, as I often say openly to you as a friend, a sense of fairness from Europe to the predicament that Israel faces a democracy fighting terrorism and incitement. A lot of this terrorism, virtually all of it, is driven by incitement from Hamas, from the Islamic movement in Israel, and I regret to say from uh, the Palestinian Authority. And I think if, we're, if we want to have any hope, we have to stop terrorism. If we want to stop terrorism, we have to stop the incitement. Uh, and that is one of the things that I hope to uh, speak to you about, among other things. And it's good to see you. Welcome. Very good to see you. Thank you. And, uh, uh, we are all convinced on the need to calm down the situation, starting from the rhetorics, uh, avoid inflaming uh, the situation even further. This is a responsibility we have, the leaderships have, not only for the people on the ground, but for the whole region, mm -hmm. can turn very dangerous. And the European Union is ready to support in any possible way, uh, having concrete, viable steps to guarantee the status quo in the holy sites, and in parallel to see how we can start implementing concrete steps uh, on the ground consistent with previously uh, agreed uh, steps. Uh, as we discussed in New York last time we met a couple of weeks ago, uh, security, uh, stopping the violence, and uh, at the same time having some political horizon is going to be key. The European Union is ready to support tomorrow we have a quartet meeting in, uh, in Vienna. I will have talks with President Abbas on Monday in Brussels, obviously, if we can help in calming down the situation. We'll discuss this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.